Okay, this is part three, and I'm just going to use this as a quick cleanup. Look, I don't mean to persuade people in a, in a negative connotation or negative tone. I have a testimony in this in that I know what it's like to be given over to a legalist spirit. And I am called as a minister. Um, the Lord has revealed himself to me, and I, I know what I'm talking about in terms of these things. People can fight as much as they want, but the truth is, is I have a burden from Christ. And the burden that I have is to do his work. Okay, and I'm telling you right now that even with the the gifts and the revelation and everything that Christ has given me to edify His church and to be strong in Him, I'm telling you that legalism had its way with me. What I'm trying to say is, if you give yourself over to a legalistic spirit, it's going to take something fierce to pull you out. You're not going to be able to play with it. It's like playing with a fire that is so hot it's going to burn you in ways you never knew you could be burned. And I'm telling you that I hold a deep revelation from Christ. I abide in the revelation of the mystery of Christ. Okay, I do Christ's work and I've been doing it for years. And I'm telling you that when the Lord broke me off legalism, it was like detoxing off heroin. I've never detoxed off heroin, but I've heard that it can literally kill you. And I'm telling you, this is what's coming. And if you enjoy that type of process, then go ahead and give yourself over to that legalistic spirit. But I'm tell I can't even, like, I could probably write about or explain it if I really thought deeply about it. But the judgment that comes into you and the type of hold that has on your spirit is something that you will never understand until you experience it. You know how sometimes if you get in a breakup, like someone breaks up with you, and you really cared about them, and you have this deep hurt, like this hurt that just doesn't go away, or if someone really hurts you, you have a deep hurt. Okay, imagine that type of pull on you, but it has nothing to do with what someone did to you. It has to do with what you did to yourself. Imagine that. Imagine doing it all to yourself. I mean, when other people hurt you, it hurts but you at least have that knowledge that they hurt you. You're a victim. And there's comfort in that. You may not admit it, but there's comfort there. When you give yourself over to legalism and you become in bondage to it, you're going to have actions um, that are going to reflect that. And when the Lord reveals to you how wrong you were, you're going to have nobody to blame but yourself. And all those emotions I explained to you about breaking up and the pull and the hurt, the deep hurt, you're not going to be able to point the finger. You're not going to be able to say, she did that to me, or he did that to me, or he was wrong, or she was wrong, or what this person did was wrong. You're not going to have that opportunity. Because Christ is going to show you that you did it to you. And I'm telling you, the pain that brings is something that is completely different. It is a humiliation it is an indoctrination. It is a, a, you'll doubt everything because this whole walk is faith and it's spiritual. You'll doubt your faith. You'll doubt if you can ever be trusted again. You'll doubt if you can ever, I mean, it will take you. It'll turn you upside down. It'll take everything out of you and it will leave you so shaking you can't even stand on your feet. And then after that, you got to deal with the pain. I'm telling you, legalism is, in terms of spiritual, the worst drug out there the worst. Prostitutes have it easy repenting compared to people who practice legalism. And I'm telling you to warn you. These teachers are very cunning. They give the appearance of righteousness just like the Pharisees who killed Jesus. They have the show. But if you buy what they sell you and you start living it and practicing and preaching it you're either going to go to hell in that state or God is going to be forced to break you out of it and when God breaks you out of it you're never going to be the same you're never going to be the same take it from someone who knows your life will change forever and uh 
you don't want that change because it makes life harder. And I only say this to uh, try to give you every opportunity because people make their own choices. And in the book of Jude, it talks about how some will pull out of the fire, even despising what they're wearing. And, uh, you know, it, it, at the very end of the book of Jude, it says some will at the very end just be pulled out of the fire. I believe that kind of describes the legalism. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to just be, you're going to be pulled out of this fire. And if you're fortunate, it'll happen real close to the end. Because if you get pulled out of that fire, it's, um, it's a certain type of, of uh, backlash and whiplash that just, it, it, it messes with your head. And it doesn't ever go away. And um, I just, I caution, you know, people. Because in my first two videos, I, I, I gave the impression I was upset. But what you need to realize is that's my own testimony, and I know what it does to people. And I've been, I, I was caught up in uh, the legalistic frame of mind. And I just, I want people to do what's right, and I want them to have the opportunity to see these things. And um, I believe that legalism is coming in, and it's coming in in a way where it's going to be nearly impossible to fight it. That's why I believe that it's going to be part of God's judgment on his church. Because he's going to bring that in and say, choose. And if you leave the church, you've chosen correctly. And if you stay in and you get indoctrinated by that teaching, you've chosen incorrectly. And now I believe some of those will be saved, but through fire. And I've already warned you, you don't want that fire. And you don't want the repercussions of being pulled out of that fire. And you don't want the life afterwards, living with third degree burns on your mind and on your soul. You don't want that. And because I believe that this is really a move from Satan, I believe the people, especially the teachers that are deep and caught in, I believe they're his ministers. Now I say this very sparingly. That's why it's taken me 27 minutes just to say that. Because I don't say those things lightly. I want everybody to be saved. But I truly believe in these end times, the teachers and the preachers that are practicing and teaching intense legalism as another gospel, they are absolutely cursed. Just like the Bible says that if you preach another gospel, you're cursed. I believe that these are not only Satan's ministers, I believe they, they are his knights and his rooks and his uh, bishops. If you know chess, they're not pawns. They're, they're, his, they're his power moves. They're his strength moves. These, these men are completely indoctrinated and cannot be dealt with and cannot be... You can't, you can't reason with them and you can't talk to them. You, you're, you're basically dealing with fire. And um, like I said, I say that very lightly, but I truly believe that these end-time teachers that are bringing the other gospel of the law and that that's the gospel that you have to obey the law, that they are not only Satan's ministers, but they're a particular brand of his minister. And they are going to do a horrible work in people. And I would avoid these men. Avoid them. Don't talk to them. Avoid them. Unless you enjoy having conversations with Satan. So, I say this in the fear of the Lord. Uh, I don't want to judge any other man, but I care about Christ and I care about his church. And I care about people having an opportunity to see the truth. Um, I would directly combat these men, except for the Lord has never placed that in my in my. Uh, there was one time I went to a website and dealt with one of the teachers, but uh, that was my lesson never to do that again. Um, basically, I want to help people, and if you ever want to contact me or anything, you can contact me, or uh, you can ask me questions. But not if you're already given. If you're already given to this and you're listening to teachers, don't contact me because we've got nothing to talk about. But if you're, if that pull is on you, you can contact me, and I'll, and I'll talk to you, and I'll deal with you. Um, because I want to give people every opportunity to make the right decision. And I, I already learned from experience, legalism is not the right decision. Okay? So I, I hope that these videos have blessed you and that you can use them as a foundation to start thinking about things.